In this video, we're going to guide you to create an install disk that will let you either try a demo of Elementor iOS or install it on your computer. To create that install disk, you'll need a USB drive with at least 4GB of storage and Etcher, a small program you can download at balena.io slash Etcher. The first step is to download Elementor iOS. Using a web browser, head over to elementary.io. There, you get the option to download a disk image of the latest version of Elementor iOS. You can either pick a pre-filled amount you'd like to pay or enter your own. It's a pay-what-you-want model that lets you decide how much using Elementor iOS is worth to you. You can either download the image file normally or using a torrent client if you prefer. Once the download is complete, you'll have to put that disk image onto a USB flash drive using Etcher. First, select the disk image you just downloaded from the Elementor iOS website. Then, plug your USB drive in your computer and select it in Etcher. Finally, just click the flash button. Etcher will let you know once the operation is complete. Now, you'll need to tell your computer to use your installed disk instead of trying to start from your usual hard drive or SSD. Depending on your computer, you'll have to press a key at startup right when you see the manufacturer's logo. It's usually indicated on the bottom of the screen with a text that reads Boot Priority, Boot Manager, or Boot Order. On a Mac, you won't see any indication and you'll need to hold the Option key while rebooting. Leave the installed disk you just created plugged into your computer and restart it. Press the right key for your computer to access the list of bootable devices and select your install disk there. It should either be named Elementor iOS or with the name of your USB drive's manufacturer. If you've missed the opportunity to press the key or you don't know which one you should press, you can search online for boot priority with the manufacturer and model of your computer to know which key to press. If everything went according to plan, you'll just have to follow the directions on screen to either try a demo of Elementor iOS or install it on your computer. 